What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Dolomite is my name, starring Eddie Murphy as Rudy Ray Moore, a.k.a. Dolomite. I love this movie to say that it was on Netflix. This movie took a lot of risk. With I've never seen a Netflix movie with graphic nudity or sexual content. And they gave it to him. That's why I said, I'm like, when you know Dolomite, me being young, you know what I'm saying, in my 30s, you knew Dolomite for being just raunchy. I didn't know who Rudy Ray Moore was until later that, that he embodied and Dolomite was one of his characters. I thought his, his name was just Dolomite, like he was a pimp. You know what I'm saying? And I watching this movie, is like the biopic of Rudy Ray Moore. I enjoyed it because it was so similar to the movie The Disaster Artist with um, Tommy Wiseau making the room. And here is Rudy Ray Moore was a, a young black man. Well, I ain't gonna say young, but a black man in the 70s and late 60s trying to come up, trying to make a name for himself. You know what I'm saying? Doing anything he 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 got his hands on to, to make it work. You know what I'm saying? And dude was a hustler, man. When I say dude was a hustler, dude was a hustler. Like he was, and he, throughout his whole, the whole movie, you know, he always explained, yeah, I'm, I'm about that nightlife. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've been around most of my life with, you know what I'm saying? He was a club bouncer, club promoter. Like, so he's seen all the mobsters, the pimps, the druggies, the prostitutes. He was used to that element. Plus, he owned a record store. So that's why I was just like, damn, this dude has so many hustles, but he wanted more for himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wanted what he did to make a meaning of his life. You know what I'm saying? And to me, like I said, that is the most ambitious thing you can do in your life. You know what I'm saying? That man really wanted his name to mean something, you know, where he was. And it was, man, you just got to see where he was, you know what I'm saying? And as far as making the comedy, how he came out with the comedy, didn't work in the beginning. And then, you know, he just, he had that old bum coming in his record, record shop, just always spitting that old African folklore. And he just kind of like noticed how people were laughing. So I was just like, damn. So that's what he did. He went out there, gave him some money, gave him some liquor, put a tape recorder in front of him and just had him spit all kind of folklore. So he could just, that was, and it made it his material. And I was like, damn, that's how he got that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody knew how to talk like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it was just for my generation and even for my parents, you didn't listen to Dolomite. You, I mean, your parents were like, man, that is too raunchy, as nasty, as filthy. He cussing. Like, nah, you ain't listening to that. And to the, in the 70s and 60s, if your, if your mom and your daddy knew that, you know what I'm saying, you couldn't even cuss. You cuss, you know, around around people, but as far as mainstream, man, nobody was putting out anything for you to be cussing on. Like, man, you tripping. Like, that's not what it was. He was the first one to go out there cussing. Like Red Fox, you know, like Richard Pryor. They was they were the 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 top known people to be doing stand-up on, on records and cussing. So he just emulated what they were doing and he just made it more raunchy. Like, man, I didn't understand it back then. I just to be like, man, I don't wanna watch that, bro. That's you know, he, he doing too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when you think about it in the mind of a, of an adult, like when you watch movies or when you hear stuff, you want to hear and watch the stuff that was around you. Like, so he always thought about it ain't an action movie. If they don't show titties, like they ain't showing titties on there. They not cussing on there. Like I want all that because that's what I'm used to. And I didn't really understand that until I watched it. That's why I say I can truly appreciate Rudy Ray Moore and Eddie Murphy playing Rudy Ray Moore to bring this to the tenfold to make you understand like this man was ambitious and he did whatever it took to get to where he was. You know what I'm saying? And you just saw his climb up to stardom where, you know, even he put on the wig, came out with his little pimp suits, you know what I'm saying? And created Dolomite. Hit that little chitlin circuit type of deal and just had like a little comedy tour in these bars from the south all the way to the west, back up to the east, back up to LA. And I was like, this dude is killing it. People loved it. And on the tour, he, he I don't know old, old, old girl name, but met her on the tour and she can, you know what I'm saying, quick with it, just can talk just like him. So that's why I was like, it works. You know what I'm saying? And he put out a string of different, you know, comedy records. 
and did successful, but he wanted more. He was just like, man, my name ain't going to mean nothing until I be in the movies. I got to make a movie. I got to make a Dolomite movie. And this dude literally took what he had, bro. And even when he got Wesley Snipes, I've never seen Eddie Murphy or Wesley Snipes work together in a movie. As long as them two been out, them two been out since the 80s. And they never worked together in the movie. So I was just really sitting back like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Here they are working together in the movie. And even when he told Wesley Snipes when they were shooting up in the hotel that he was like, man, I'm the one that, that's paying for this. I didn't, I didn't, you know, spent my last just to make this movie, bro. And and you could see the, the humility with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, be humble. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to make it work. And he made it work. He made it work. That was something about Rudy Ray Moore. That man made it work. He made it funny. He made it everything that you needed to make. Although you're an older black man, you know what I'm saying? Not what people were looking for at the time as far as, you know, the Billy D. Williams and the Sidney Portiers. He wasn't that attractive. Like how Denzel was, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't that attractive. So he was just like, man, I'm going to just, you know, make what I got, make it work. And he did. But he always added that style of comedy satire to make you like it, you know what I'm saying? To make you love what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Because it was funny. Like, it was like this was a hood classic movie, like the first ever hood classic movie to be in the movies. That's why, it to me, this story is so important for everyone to know that, you know, before the Fridays uh, with Ice Cube, before Soul Plane, before How High with Method Man, it was Dolomite, you know what I'm saying? And then it was The Mac, then it was Superfly, like, you had those movies, those, and, and to me, that kicked off the black exploitation movies was Dolomite. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the first one doing it, all black director, all black cast, you know what I'm saying? And just, he made it work. That's what made me die laugh about this, because I was just like, and, and to see that all I knew was Dolomite as a kid, all I knew that this dude was was just, he cussed all the time, like, and to really find out this dude wasn't really cussing like that. Like, he wasn't, that man was a chilled, humble dude. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, that's just really a persona. And this dude really embodied that. That's dope. Labeled as the godfather of rap because this dude was cussing, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what, what, what everyone talk about today and putting in the song today. He was just doing that shit 40 years ago, 50 years ago, 30 years ago. And you know what I'm saying? I could really, really appreciate that. You had comedians in the 80s. You had rappers in the 80s taking direct quotes off of Dolomite. Even uh, Old Dirty Bastard made, hey, dirty, baby, I got you. All of them scenes in that, in that music video was from Dolomite. So you could tell that Dolomite had a huge impact on the hip-hop community. You know what I'm saying? So I love this movie because it's, it's always, it can wrap up the legacy of Rudy Ray Moore, you know what I'm saying? And what he did for his community. And I can appreciate that. I give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. Only because it, it gave me that Netflix element. I felt like it could have been a little bit longer and could have been a little bit more graphic if you kind of get my drift. Although it was graphic enough, but it could have been a lot more graphic and into what he was doing as far as the movie. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that it was the big climactic turn was him making the movie. And I feel like they didn't spend that much time on that, but just more so the story of how he got to that point. So I can appreciate that. I really can. So if you guys enjoyed my review of Dolomite Is My Name. Also, I really love the cast with uh, Keegan... Uh, from Key and Peele, or like Kiko Michael, and Chris Rock and Snoop Dogg. Like, I've never seen, I feel like with Keegan and Chris Rock coming into an Eddie Murphy movie, like paying homage to be like, man, I'm in a movie with Eddie Murphy. You know what I'm saying? Because Eddie Murphy is the GOAT. That is, like, Eddie Murphy is, is the Rudy Ray Moore of my time. He's the Richard Pryor of my time. You know what I'm saying? The absolute... Number one person to be doing comedy is Eddie Murphy. You know what I'm saying? Switch over to movies, box office giant, all that. For all them to share a movie with Eddie Murphy, 
I, I'm I'm just here for it. I feel like this is going to be a classic because because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like another Hall of Nights. You know what I'm saying? It's just Eddie Murphy doing Eddie Murphy things. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys enjoyed my review of Dolomite is my name, subscribe to my channel, post comment down below, and like the video. It's your boy D Dyson. Peace.